I don't see how the <laughs> Israelites, how it, it, it links the Gentiles and Abraham. Yeah. Because they have the same story. Right. Whereas Abraham was born in the Ur of Chaldees, right. worshiping idols. Right. And the Lord put this, gave him grace, returned his spirit. Right. Right. Got to understand all of this stuff, man. Now let's go back to Romans the 11th chapter. Paul is preaching to the Gentiles and he's going through opposition of these high up circumcision who were cultivated in the laws, who were raised in the laws, looking down upon those who were coming out of that dead state. Go ahead. This is uh, Romans 11 and 11. I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid. But rather through their fall, salvation is come unto the Gentiles mm -hmm. for to provoke them to jealousy. Right, to provoke them to jealousy. Okay. And to wake the hell up. And some of them did. Some of those who right. rejected Yahweh Shai, who even helped crucify him at the time of Acts, the second chapter, were provoked to repent. Son. Go ahead. Verse 12, it says, Now if the fall of them be of the riches of the world and the diminishing of them, the riches of the Gentiles, mm -hmm. how much more their fullness? Because the way that the Lord wrote the story is that that had to happen in order for, in order for the one third to be glorified, the two third has to be in their lot. Mm hmm. They go hand in hand. This is the way that the Heavenly Father wrote the story. And as it keeps going, you'll get it. Go ahead. For I speak to you, Gentiles, uh -huh. and as much as I am the apostle of the Gentiles, right. I magnify my office. Right. He magnified his office, man. Okay. Because he was sent to do what? Preach to those heathen, man, mm -hmm. which are Israelites. And we're going to show you. Go ahead. If by any means I may provoke to emulation mm -hmm. them which are my flesh. Right. He's speaking of the Jews. Right. I will provoke you to repent and to understand the severity of what Yahweh Shai did for us, man. Because literally it will be no way back. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. If by any means I may provoke to emulation them which are my flesh mm -hmm. and might save some of them. Mm -hmm. For if the casting away of them be the reconciling of the world, mm -hmm. what shall the receiving of them be but life from the dead? Right. Now, somebody look up that word reconciling. Where is that in Romans 11? Romans 12. The reconciling of the world, man. And that's what it's all about. 11 and 15. The yeah, heavenly right. father bring it. Go ahead. The word reconciling, I'm going to play it because I don't want to mess up. Strong's G, 2643, Katalagate. 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 It says, exchange of the business of money changers, exchanging mm. equivalent value. All right, so you just like you trade in a, a, a yen to get some uh, dollars. Mm -hmm. You trade in some right. dollars to get you some Bitcoin, you right, know, right, whatever. Right, 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 right. It says, adjustment of a difference, reconciliation, restoration to favor. Restoration to favor. Man. All right. Ain't that what happened at the time of, uh, of Abraham? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He was restored to that legacy, that, that breath that was breathing to Adam. Right. Go ahead. Ooh. Right. It says, in the New Testament of the restoration of favor of the Most High to sinners that repent. And sinners that repent, which links that to the mercies of David. Absolutely. That's it. Meaning, you yeah. sin, you went off. Yep. Right. I'm going to judge you, but I'm going to give you favor. Right. Grace. I'm going to have mercy. I'm going to give you grace. Right. Mm -hmm. And judge you by your intent rather than your, your, your offense. Because your offense, literally, you should be dead. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Put you to death. Like white stone. That white stone. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a whole lesson right there. That's a whole lesson, absolutely. It Go says ahead. and repent and put their trust in the uh, ex expiatory death of Hamashiach. Right, and this is dealing with the covenants. That's how you know it's Israel because Israel's mm -hmm. only way back under that first covenant was through going to a high priest, animal sacrifice, and so forth, man. So the final and, and sacrifice that we needed to get back to the Heavenly Father was through Yahweh Shai. Exactly. Right. And many of those high-minded Jews didn't want to accept that sacrifice. But exactly. there were those who heard the preaching of Yahweh Shai and accepted of it. Right. And the Lord supped with them and dwelt with them. Okay? You got something? Uh, Isaiah, this is one of them. Isaiah 48 and 9, it says, For my name's sake will I defer mine anger. And for my praise, will I refrain for thee, mm -hmm. that I cut thee not off. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That's a, yeah. That's Behold, I have refined thee, but not with silver. I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. 
for my own sake, even for my own sake will I do it. For how should my name be polluted and I will not give my glory unto another? Right, and that's what you all are saying that the Heavenly Father did. He gave his glory unto another. No, there was a covenant and promise made with that nature. And that's going to be fulfilled, all right? It no. said, right. hearken unto me, O Jacob and Israel, my called. I am he, I am the first, I also am the last. Mm. Mm -hmm. That late, you know? Yep. What you want, man? Let's, let's go back to somebody got something? Romans, let's go back to Romans. Right. Romans 11 and 15. It says, For if the casting away of them be for the reconciling of the world. They had to be they had to be cast <laughs> away. They had to fall off. Right. Yep. And that's speaking of those of the circumcision who did not follow after the spirit. They were stuck yeah. on the flesh. They were stuck on the temple. Yep. That world being the cosmos, man. Right. Talking about Israel. Right. 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 And then we gotta go into Cornelius uh, maybe one of the maybe next week. Which opens up a whole nother understanding to this very thing, man. Because it started with him. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. As the Gentiles, which is the seed. Go ahead. What shall the receiving of them be but life from the dead? Mm -hmm. For if the first fruit be holy, mm -hmm. the lump is also holy. Right. And if the root be holy, right. so are the branches. Right. So he's breaking down a tree. If the first fruits be holy, which who are the first fruits? Mm -hmm. Shai and the elect. Okay, starting with that 144. If that be holy, all the nation of Israel going to be holy. But according to the scriptures, the Lord had it to where there's some that will be in unbelief and not of that fold. So that through that remnant, everything can be restored. Through the remnant being grafted back onto the tree, as we're going to read, the tree lives. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Verse 17. It says, and if some of the branches be broken off, mm -hmm. and thou... Being a wild olive tree. Thou being a wild, look at the word wild. Thou being a wild olive tree. All right. Now, mind you, it's an olive tree. Real quick, uh, Jeremiah 11. I got it. Go ahead. Yeah, this is Jeremiah 11, 16, right? Mm -hmm. Jeremiah 11, 16, it says, Yahweh called thy name a green olive tree. See, Yahweh called thy name a green olive tree. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Fair and goodly. Uh, and of goodly fruit. Mm -hmm. With the noise of a great tumult, he hath kindled fire upon it, mm -hmm. and the branches of it are broken. That's clear. How were the branches broken, man? Through 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 sin, man. Through mm -hmm. the Lord sending the heathen and beating your ass, yeah, man. Real captivity. Captivities, yep. man. And what happens in captivity? You basically you start following after yep. the ways of the rulers. Your lifestyle you know, is changed. Yep. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's even it's even in our law, man. Once you conquer, if you see a maiden amongst the, the conquer that you like, it's a law that goes. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's the same thing with them. When they conquer us, they get busy. They got the they, the Babylonians got the women of Zion. Man. Yep. Yep. What you think what, that's what Esau did. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go ahead. Con. Continuing on, Jeremiah chapter eleven, and uh I'll read verse seventeen. It says, for the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, that planted thee, hath pronounced evil against thee, for the evil of the house of Israel and of the house of Judah, which they have done against themselves to provoke me to anger mm -hmm. in, of, uh, in, of, in offering incense unto, uh, unto Baal. There you go. That's how they were broken right. off, through offering incense unto Baal, right. worshiping idols. But they're still Israelites, mm -hmm. but they're like, they're not his people. Because why? You ain't following my way. You ain't my woman. Yeah, right. Right. I don't you know belong you. to the other niggas. Yep. You for the streets. Yep. <laughs> Boom. That's what the Lord told Israel, Boom. man. Mm -hmm. Boom. If you had a woman and you were married to her and she was all out in the streets getting knocked down by everybody, bro. <laughs> your homies bro. come and telling you what's what it is. Bro, mm -hmm. read, I, read I, Ezekiel 16. Uh, yeah. 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 Brothers, read that in your spare time. Yeah. Ezekiel 16. Yeah. And literally, what we're talking about is, is the scriptures yeah. say it first. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> Break it down. Bitch, I took you in when nobody wanted your thinking ass. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You yeah. was just a wanderer. Right. Yeah. You got to remember that we was just nomads, nom nomadic no, people. No, calm. Getting it how we live. Yeah. Most I say, I'm going to make you special. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, you know, we get chose. Right, we got chose. We got chose. Now, uh, what we got? I got There's... the wild olives in Romans eleven. That word, Greek, Greek, wild. Yeah. This is the word wild in the Greek. 
Oh, somebody get Isaiah 5 real quick, too. I'm going to play. Strong's G65. Agri Elias. Agri Elias. Kind of when you go into that word, it says, of belonging to the Alester or wild olive. Wild olive. Go it, ahead. Says, it says the wild olive tree. And when you go into the, the root of that word there, you got Elea. And it says an olive tree. An olive, the fruit of an olive tree. Mm -hmm. And this is what Paul was talking about in Romans 11. So he was even explaining to this church in Rome, by the way, going back to the prophecy that Jeremiah was talking about in Jeremiah the 11th chapter. Mm -hmm. If they weren't Israelites, why would he have to go back to Jeremiah, who was a Levite at that? Why would he have to go back to that? Right. To prove to the point that those were those wild olives that came off and they were getting put back on that vine. Mm -hmm. That's, right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Now, I wanted to get that word wild when you get, you know, it's two word root words, okay. agrielas. Yeah, I, know I wanted to get the word agros was the first part of that word. You know, he, he broke down the second part of the word with the word is agrios, which is wild. And it says living or growing in fields or woods. Mm. Of animals, wild, savage, Boom. savage of countries, wild, uncom uncultivated, uncultivated, unreclaimed, <laughs> of men and animals in a moral sense, Woo. wild, savage, fierce, fierce, bro. bro uh, what does it say in Re uh, Revelation twenty two? Blessed are they that keep the commandments mm -hmm. and, and so forth. What, but because without are dogs. Yeah, it's just that. It's yep. just that. When, when 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 Peter saw the vision. Of the uh, the the those what did, what did he see mm -hmm. about Cornelius? You know, unclean you know, beasts. You know, beasts. Chicago. Chicago. James <laughs> just not <laughs> keeping the law, right? <laughs> Knocking over the, the bubble gum machine yeah. and shit. <laughs> Tripping <laughs> the fucking right aid. Hey, your brother's come to Chicago. <laughs> I ain't coming. You come to Dallas, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's Chicago the was cool though. Yeah, no, no, Chicago Chicago was cool. Cool. Always, well, yeah. Always it's crazy as hell out there though. <laughs> that's, that's like the that's 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 the, why they that's got that good ass. Music. Yeah. <laughs> Esau does a lot of experimenting on those jakes out there, man. <laughs> California, too. We fucking jake up, man. You yeah, know? Crazy as hell. I'm just going to say just real quick, that's the prodigal son as well. Yep. That's the that's the parable of the prodigal son. When you read about that in Luke, wow. it goes into how that son that went off in that land lived riotously among the heathen. And that's that riotousness, that boorish way of living, that beast-like way of living. Did not uh, Jude and Peter mention brute beast? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's basically Jake, who was among the church, being assholes. Mm -hmm. yeah. They called them brute beasts, meaning they're without, they're, 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 they're no people. Like, nigga, you ain't, you know? What does it say when you take your brother and he don't listen to you and he, he don't listen? Cast him out as a heathen mm -hmm. man. Right. Mm -hmm. He ain't right. Yeah. <laughs> yep. See a heathen man. Yep. So the, the, we see the, the narrative between the Israelites becoming heathen and how because they were uncultivated. Read that again, Bible. Right. Going back to the word uh, agrio. Is everybody understanding? You know, so far, mm -hmm. brothers. Yep. Go ahead. Right. Going back to subsection two in the uh, outline of biblical usage of men and animals in moral sense, wild, savage, fierce. Borish, rude, of any violent passion, vehement, furious. That was Jake. Mm. That was Jake. Mm. That full of the rebuke of the Lord, man. Mm. So that's the wild olive tree. Now, real quick, Isaiah 5. Verse 2. Oh, yeah. Let's read. Just start at 1. You got me. Read there. No, you got it. Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 1. Now will I sing to my well-beloved a song of my beloved, mm -hmm. touching his vineyard, my well-beloved hath a vineyard in a very fruitful hill. Man, verse, verse 2. And he fenced it and gathered out the stones thereof and planted it with the choicest vine and built a tower in the midst of it. And all also made a wine press therein. And he looked that it should bring forth grapes and it brought forth wild grapes. Mm -hmm. Verse 3. And now, O inhabitants of Jerusalem, Men of Judah, judge, I pray you, betwixt me and my vineyard, what could I have been done more to my vineyard? Right, and the vineyard is Israel. Now, mm -hmm. jump down, go to like verse 6. Go to six. Verse 6. And I will lay it waste, it shall not be pruned, nor dig. Right, it shall not be pruned. That's it. Man. It shall not be pruned. Right. Look up the word pruned. Okay. It's not, it's not going to be cultivated. cultivated. Right. 
Yes, this yes, vine, yes. So because you want to be rebellious, I'm a, you, I ain't cultivating you no more then. And, and watch how you grow. It's gonna be wild. Hmm. Yeah. You're going to be wild. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Strong's Ace 2168 is a mark. It says to trim, prune, to be pruned. That's pretty much all. Right. And that's what the tr that's how you keep up a tree. Yeah. Now, a nation has a culture mm -hmm. that keeps them in line with their God. It says, uh, when you go to the dictionary, the word prune, trim, by cutting away dead or overgrown branches or stems, especially to increase fruitfulness and growth. So basically, when you don't prune it, you just allow random overgrowth to choke everything out. Yeah. 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 Right? But you have to cultivate it. <laughs> and what does that take? That takes discipline. Mm -hmm. That takes standards. That takes a way. Uh, <laughs> All right? I got a precept. Go ahead and get to this. This is John 15 and 1. That's it. That's it. Who's the cultivator? That's it. That's it. That's perfect. This is John chapter 15, starting at verse 1. And it reads, I am the true vine. The Habashah is the true vine. Let's get that out of the way. And my father is the husbandman. Now, when you go into husbandman, the husbandman is the one that cultivates. And what did he use in order to cultivate us as a nation? He had used the law. You know? It says in verse 2, Every branch in me that beareth not fruit is taken away. Those are those branches that are taken out that Paul was talking about in Romans 11. Mm -hmm. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it. Mm -hmm. And it may bring forth more fruit. You know, and that's what the scripture is that? This is John 15. That was in verse 2. John 15, 2. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful, bro. Done. That's it? <laughs> and that purging is that separation process that we all have to go through. But the difference is the elect are going to endure through it. Right. Are going to be able to stand. That's and in right. the midst of that, that's right. Yeah. Come. Yeah. I got something. Wisdom of Solomon 4 and 4. For though they flourish in branches for a time, yet standing not last, they shall be shaken with the wind, and through the force of the winds, they shall be rooted out. Mm -hmm. The imperfect branches shall be broken off, their fruit unprofitable. That's pruning. That's, right. pruning. That's a process of pruning. pruning right, right, That's right. what pruning is. Not right to eat, yay, meat for nothing. Mm, just a waste. Yeah. Fire. Right? Yeah. Because we were reading in Isaiah uh, 5 and 6. It says, uh, And I will lay a waste, and it shall not be pruned or dig, but there shall come up briars and thorns. I will also command the clouds that they rain Mm -hmm. uh, no rain upon it. Now go back to uh, uh, John 15 and 2. Come. Baba Kusha. John 15, 15 and 2. It says, Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. Uh, you, you clay, you burn it. Go ahead. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it. He mm -hmm. purgeth it that it may bring forth more fruit. Right. And so the word purge. <clears throat> Strong's G 2508. Cathedral. Cathyro. Cathyro means to cleanse of filth and purity, <laughs> to prune trees and vines from useless shoots. Mm -hmm. mm. Right? Metaphorically, from guilt to expiate. Right? Right. Yeah. So, and that's the first process of grafting something in. You got to clean it up first. Right. Yep. Till you got to get it ready. Right. We ain't it, even went to grafting yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But then to upkeep it, you know, that's the process. But when you just grow up wild, you right. just got, and that's what's happened to the nation in Israel. It's just right. got wild. Yeah, just, yeah. Excess. Random, yeah. dead, yeah. unclean branches of just yeah. Greekish, you know, yeah. all types of cultures is all up in it. Dead, just dead right. ways and customs. Right. So to have make the tree sprouted. Live, to make the tree live, once you knock, once those things die off, those branches, you grab back on. The good stuff. Right, yeah. right, right. That's right. Right. Now, what the Lord did was he grafted on a wild olive branch. Right. They, but yeah. from that came fruit innumerable. Because yeah. right. they're the same gene anyway. That, right. That's, what, that's right. what he's going to do. That's but after, everything had to be properly placed. Right. right. Structure. You can't just bring it in on a, yeah. on a unpruned, like a tree that ain't ready. Right. Yeah. right. Things had to be prepared. That's why he went to the Israelites first, mm -hmm. had those of the body of Israel that believed in it was ready. Right. And now we, they brought in these wild branches so mm -hmm. that it could grow. Right. Right. Okay. That's but true. if you can't get the back, that's why we took so much time to go back to Maccabees, all this history, reading right. these articles for you to get the, you know, understand it. This is John 15 and 4. 
abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. And that's Yahweh Shah, and y'all was going into those grafted branches. They were lifeless until they were brought forth within the vine. Because that's what brings forth the life in that branch. Whether it was of it, and the guy had to get hewn down, or whether it was wild, and got grafted back on. It's the vine that brings forth that life, which is Yahweh Shah. And it says, no more can ye ex uh, except ye abide in me. And verse 5 is the point. I am the vine, and ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit, for without me ye can do nothing. Right. So we brought up the point going into how we represent those branches right here. Right. Whether you started off there or you were taken off, as we all were, and have to get grafted back in that vine. Right. At the end of the day, we are those, those, those branches, mm -hmm. and the Most High is cultivating us through this word so we could be that finished product. That exactly. Is. Watch this. Hosea 14 and 5, I will be as the dew unto Israel, he shall grow as the lily, and cast forth his roots as Lebanon, his branches shall spread, and his beauty shall be as the olive tree, and his smell as Lebanon. Come on, that's why, that's why the Lord came out of Nazareth. <laughs> that's why he came out of Nazareth, that's right, bro, the branch. Right, now let's go back yeah. to Romans. All right. Yeah. I'm going to jump, jump back up to 15, just to drive it on. This is uh, Romans 11 and 15. It says, For if the casting away of them be for reconciling of the world, what shall be the receiving of them but life from the dead? Right. For if the first fruit be holy, the lump is also holy. Right. And the first fruits are those who follow the mm -hmm. lamb whithersoever he goes. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. And that's what those Gentiles represented. They, they came out of that dead state. Mm -hmm. And through the Holy Spirit came back to the, to the Heavenly Father through Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. And if the root be holy, so are the branches. Who's the root? Yahweh Shai. That's the root and the offspring of David. The root pretty much nourishes the whole mm -hmm. tree. You see? Yep. Go ahead. And if some of the branches be broken off, and thou, being a wild olive tree, <laughs> were grafted in amongst them. Were grafted in amongst oh, them. See, thou being a wild olive tree. Okay, being grafted in among them, go ahead. And with them partakers of the root. Of partakers of the root, because you had those of the circumcision who ultimately some followed Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. Okay? But then you had those who were brought in contrary to the law. Right. Through faith, right, which are the Gentiles who were partaking in the same, because the whole thing is the first and second covenant and the access. Right. The whole thing is the access, really. It's all about the access back to the Father. Right. And the Jews were like, nigga, this is the access back to the Father, the temple, the high priest. But then Yahweh Shai came, and they were like, oh, this is the prophecy. Some of them got it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay? And, and, and they went out and preached it. Then they would have friction between those in the circumcision. And then they went to the Gentiles, man. Right. And the Gentiles started to hear the word, and they woke up. Yep. Now they're being grafted back onto the tree so that it can live. Right. Okay, go ahead. And with them partakers of the root and fatness of the olive tree. The mm -hmm. olive tree. The mm -hmm. olive tree is Israel. It's still an olive. And when you mm -hmm. deal with grafting, real quick, grafting, mm -hmm. because let me get this real quick. Uh, let's see if I got it here. This is off of uh, Missouri Extension.edu. What can be grafted? It says, plants of the same botanical genus, all right, and species can be grafted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Though they are different in variety, it must be of the same species. Now, even in the law, can we mingle the seed? No. Mm -mm. Absolutely not. You and can't gender, tree, you know, everything is after its kind. Right, after That's its right. Kind. right. You see? So the, the, the bringing in of the other nations would defy the whole image of Yahweh. <laughs> it says a bastard would never enter into the congregation, right. even in the law. Right. That's right. From the 10th generation right. on down the line. You right. Except we was always supposed to stay away from it. No. <laughs> the Lord chose Israel Except, to be separate, holy, mm -hmm. and to lead humanity into the right way. Right. You don't want your woman dealing with nobody but you. Simple. <laughs> I was going to huh? I mean, stand up, but if I can make a point, <laughs> I was going to get the cut, you know. 
<laughs> but uh, the <laughs> saints in the Hebrew is the same <laughs> word as holy, you know, Kodash. Yeah. So I thought that's that's interesting. Yeah. Well, Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So grafting is a science. But when you go into the actual grafting, <laughs> this is an olive tree. Now there's different kind of olives. We looked right. it up. Right. There's different species of olives. A bunch of different species. Mm -hmm. But it's still an olive. Mm -hmm. You can't go and get a peach and say I'm a grafted on to the the, the, uh, <laughs> the olive <laughs> branch. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't finna make no olive oil with that. Nah. Nah. It's not gonna work. <laughs> it ain't gonna work. Nah. Do you know Esau got a tree with various different... Yeah, that's not Yeah, about. he's a demon. Yeah. <laughs> because he splices the chains and the, the Lord ain't with that. Oh, my God. He ain't with that. Go ahead. All right. Uh, 11 and 7, uh, 17, it says, And if some of the branches be broken off, and thou, being a wild olive tree, were grafted in amongst them, mm -hmm. and with them partakest of the root and fatness of the olive tree, mm -hmm. boast not against the branches, mm -hmm. but if thou boast, thou right. bearest not the root. Right, boast, because you can't get proud, mm -hmm. because you had Jay get high-minded, you know? No, you, you brought in through grace. Mm -hmm. It just so happened that some of them the Lord chose not to get it. Right. It's not something we, we, we boast and bragging because ultimately this is a gift and we understand that it can also be taken. Right. Mm -hmm. But the, 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 what did he say? Uh, rejoice that your names are written in heaven. That's what you focus on. Go ahead. Boast not against the branches, but if thou boast, thou bearest not the root, but the root thee. Right, because you had particular Jake who got high-minded. Okay, These are all things among the church. Go ahead. Thou will say then, the branches were broken off that I may be grafted in. Right. The branches were broken off that I may be grafted in. You can get high-minded like mm -hmm. it's of you. It's of your righteousness when just a few years ago, you were a complete Greek. Right. Yep. You know? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. what the, <laughs> well, because of unbelief, they were broken off. Right. It's and, because of unbelief mm -hmm. they were broken off, which fulfills the word of the Lord. There has to be false prophets. That's right. That's right. You know? God. It has to be. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, because of unbelief, they were broken off, mm -hmm. and thou standest by faith. You stand by faith, which ties you to Abraham. Straight up. You didn't look back. Once you heard the word, you came, and you followed. That's what you focus on, and keep doing it. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Be not high-minded, but fear. Uh -huh. For if the Most High spared not the natural branches. Natural. Somebody get Galatians 2 and 15, and mm -hmm. look up that word natural. The natural is the cultivated tree, the cultivated vine. Why? Because it is being raised in the customs of being an Israelite. That's the natural branch. Somebody Galatians, get that? I got it right here. All right. This is Galatians 2 and 15. And it reads, We who are Jews by nature. By nature. And not sinners right, of the Gentiles. And not sinners of the Gentiles. We who are Jews by nature. That is the natural branch. The Israelites will raise in the custom, which Paul was one of them. Mm -hmm. Now look up that word by uh, What did I say look up? Yeah, nature yep. When you go into that word nature in the Greek That word is pronounced um, it's, it's pronounced phusis mm -hmm. But it looks like it says physis Because didn't we say that you had particular Israelites Who stuck to the way The Hasmonean dynasty, you know Maccabees mm -hmm. There were Jake It was always a remnant uh -oh. who stuck to that way mm -hmm. That's the natural branches man At the time Yahweh Shai came on the scene Those who were keeping the temple they were Israelites who were raised in the, you know, they knew they were Israelites. They knew the history. And they deemed their position as the way back to the Heavenly Father, like the temple. Like we the reason you know about y'all, you know. Yep. Just like Ariana said earlier, man, they had fought wars and they, they, were yeah. the, they were the descendants of those that fought those wars and maintained that. The so, foundation. You know? Yep. God. Yep, all for the purpose so that Yahweh Shai can come from the loins and lineage of David <laughs> and be a sacrifice in the Roman Empire. <laughs> go ahead. Now, when you go into this word phusis, it says nature. It says the nature of things, the force, laws. Laws. There's a way you prune a tree. Yep. There's a way you take care of the earth. If you do that, it you work. Know, yeah, it's going to work for you. Mm hmm Go ahead. And when you jump down, one of the definitions says birth, physical origin. Your origin. They were in Jerusalem. They were born in Jerusalem. Judea, which was a province of the Roman Empire at that time. Come. Okay. Now, if, if I may, just to go into the root of that word, that word is pronounced fool. And it says to bring forth or produce, to be born, or to shoot forth and spring up, which goes back to that root. 
And when you go into it in Revelation 7 and 9, it goes to those nations out of Israel, out of the different kindreds and such that received that covenant. When you go into that word, that word is fula. And all yeah, those three kindred. words go, and it goes to kindred, kindred right. meaning coming to the same progenitor of Abraham, yeah, Isaac, right. and Jacob go. going into that. Right. So even though it's, it's it, those were, as Revelation 11, he's talking about the natural branches, even those that were unnatural and wild, it still goes to the fula, the which are those nations progenitive from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Kindred, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Mm -hmm. Man. Uh. <laughs> Same. You got some. You got some branches. Now, the same vine. Same you know yeah. what we. What I want to talk about is the, the nature of grafting and why that word was used here, in the scripture, for us to have an understanding of what's going on. Now we mentioned it like you can't just grab an orange to an apple tree. Why it mm -hmm. will fail? Mm -hmm. There is a very particular. Mm -hmm. Definition used right here, and if that definition wasn't understood, it wouldn't be used. Right, and even if it lives for a little bit, it will live, but it will die. It will eventually die because Esau used that shit. Well, yeah. it live, <laughs> you know, like he'll put the monkey head on a human body yeah. and live, breathe seven seconds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, literally, seriously, he does this seriously because Esau has already tried it. Esau's tried to graft this on that and that on that. There's some. Edomite that's going and taking an oak leaf and grafting it into pine and day three. Right. right, right, right. <laughs> the leaf kind of group, you know, and watching it, you know. Yeah, so we a have a to be, you know, right make a whole, you know, movie about right, it. Seven and then it dies. <laughs> and then, you know, he, he makes billions on that bullshit. <laughs> this is the way I should follow. So I can only have some good time. Seven seconds. Right. Die. Attempt 666. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. It's demon. funny, but that's what he'll do. Now, going to Britannica.com, we go to the uh, to the graph in horticulture. All right? And it says, I mean, there's a lot of lot in this. You're going to have to go look it up for yourself if you want to read the whole thing. We're not going to do it for you. But uh, we'll touch on some main parts. It says graph. In, hor in horticulture, the joining together of plant parts by means of tissue regeneration. Grafting is the act of placing a portion of one plant, bud or scion, into or on a stem, root, or branch of another stock in such way in, in such a way that a union will be formed and the partners will continue to grow. The part mm. the part of the combination that provides the root is called the stock. The added piece is called the scion. Scion. Mm. Right? And ain't that one of the words in the Greek? Uh, uh, stock and scion. And something, and something, I believe, is scion. One of the. When you uh, look it up. It's one of the words of scion in the Greek. But go ahead. Now, getting the definition of the word scion a detached living portion of a plant. Joint to a stock in grafting and usually supplying solely aerial parts to the graft. That's a yeah. Especially a descendant yeah. of a wealthy, aristocratic, or influential family. Mm. Right. Someone wow. who's just way yeah, down off the branch. The yeah. He's a way branch down, man. Yeah, right, because when you look at the promise, what did he tell Abraham? Your seed is going to be as the sand of the sea, but we know in prophecy a remnant will return. That's yeah. on down the line. Yeah. Yeah. And how would they return? Through coming out of a heathen like state. Yeah. That's right. Just as Abraham did. Yeah. That's how we're the children of Abraham. Don't let these Christians hijack Abraham, man. All right. Come, man. <laughs> you, you in Babylon and all of the brothers and sisters scattered, and you woke up. That's how you tie yourself to Abraham. Right. He woke up in a physical Babylon, Herb Chaldees, yeah, right. worshiping all of the idols, probably celebrating the Christmas of that day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you and you did it. That's how you link yourself to Abraham, man. Mm -hmm. The the uncircumcised. Because did Abraham get that blessing while he was circumcised? No. no. He came before Melchizedek uncircumcised. Right, right. He still got the covenant. And circumcision, yeah. Tied to him. Mm -hmm. 
uncircumcised, man. That's I'll well, be yeah. uncircumcised. Yeah, straight up, right? Straight up, man. That's you. That's you. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking Cornelius, but yeah. Like, Cornelius, yeah, too. Like, you always say that. Right there, man. You always yeah. say that. Yeah. Cornelius is your story, man. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> you got something going on? Yeah, I just wanted to get a quick one. Uh, uh, Romans chapter 4 and verse 11. And he received the sign of circumcision, a, a, a zeal. So I like it. Start over, bro. Kind of. Romans chapter 4 and verse 11. And he received the sign of circumcision. A seal of the righteousness of faith, right. which he had yet being uncircumcised. Right. <laughs> yeah, he, That's, yep. That's talking yeah. about Abraham. He got it while being uncircumcised. Right. It and means to was, cut. Yeah. Now you have to go into the word circumcision and the word covenant mm -hmm. and understanding that always will represent it around cutting. Because mm -hmm. when you have when you have a sacrifice for a covenant, what do you do? Cut blood, right? Blood. When, you, yep. when, you, when, you, when you bind yourself to a woman through sex, what do you do? Cut, cut her. Cut into her, and you the hymen. Her, and she the hymen. She bleeds. She bleeds. So it's a sign. It's a token. That's why you have the token of virginity. It's a token of a true uh, a bond or covenant, right? You got a point? Yeah, like blood is blood out, right? And also that, and also too, like when somebody says, "Oh, I cut for you," like that's yeah. a signification of somebody yeah. that's bond. Yeah, you know yeah, saying? I cut for that nigga, yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, y'all bonded. <laughs> right, yeah. even in movies when you see witches or something, they cut themselves and they combine the blood. Right. Mm -hmm. So life is in the blood. Life is in the blood. That's right. right. That's right. So when you talk about that circumcision during the time of the eighth day, new beginnings, right? You. Cut or that foreskin, meaning it's on the penis. What's the penis represent? Legacy. Yep. That's where the seed comes for. That's the, yep. That's the, the man. Okay. It's so then, so you cutting <laughs> around and and then you having that bond of the legacy of that child, man. Mm. You see, mm. it's all those symbolic tokens of. I'm dealing with you forever, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah. Because your foreverness comes from your seed. Right, right. Your exactly. immortality yeah. is in your fall set. Generations. Yeah. For all, yeah. Forever and ever. That's why right. it's testicles. Your, perpetu your perpetual <laughs> testimony. <laughs> you having a word on the earth God. is going to be your seeds, your sons, 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 right. sons coming back, man. That's right. That's right. right. You see that? And it's the Lord's name, the it's, Father of the multitude. It's the Straight Lord's up, good pleasure to give us that. You know? Yeah. That's it. And that would that will return through a remnant. Now right. let's go back to uh Right. So real quick, I wanted to get that word grafted in. Well you what well, you made you made your point there in Romans Time. four, yeah. right? Yeah. Let's read that grafted in part again in Romans eleven. Where is uh, that? This is uh fifteen Romans seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. Romans eleven and seventeen. It says, and if some of the branches be broken off, and thou, being a wild olive tree, were grafted amongst them, and with them partakest of the root of the fatness of the olive tree, mm -hmm. boast not against the Which branches. Which is your access back to the Father. Right. 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 That root is your access back to that glory. Mm -hmm. yep. So it's yep. not just of you who knew you were Jews and were raised in the country. It's also to these who are going to come out of that dead state and mm -hmm. believe. Right, and now you know we, if you made it to this part within the series, I guess this is gonna be chopped up into a couple of pieces. You understand how we got here, right? <laughs> All right, you understand how we got to this grafted in part. All right, so going to the this is for the studious people that actually care. Right, right. Uh, Strong's G fourteen sixty one. Thirty four. Take a seven minute Illuminati. Three plus seven. Right. Seven. Yeah. All seven. Right? What more do you want from us? We got the music in the background. <laughs> we trying. You should have made it here, man. This is yeah, the access up. back. That's yeah, right. Straight, straight up. up. Yeah. Straight up. Straight up. This is a little problem. Right. Right. We your way back. Hey, under your house shot, a minute of the Lord. You can't, can't skip You can't skip the problem. You, 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 you ain't getting this understanding nowhere else. That's, That's right. right. That's right. right. That's right. right. That's 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 right. Hiding being Jews. Right, right. <laughs> in a cave right now. Teaching. That nigga Jesse yeah. Peterson ain't teaching you nothing. Yeah, Jesse right. and Jesse yeah. Peterson. Right. Yeah. That's amazing. 
Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, that's right. Amazing. So, <laughs> Strong G in 1461. Strong G in 1461. Egg Cantrizo. Egg Cantrizo. Yeah, and he did the best he could. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it says to cut into for the sake of inserting a scion. Didn't you just break down the scion? You just mm -hmm. broke down that word scion, man. Mm -hmm. So when it comes from that line, that descendant. Right. The most high is a scientist. Mm -hmm. and he's the top scientist Absolutely. through his right hand. Right. Yeah. And he's like, when he goes, the Bible speaks of how to take care of the earth and how to make, you know, the Bible really is the, the law. Even when you go into the Lord's poetry, it's all catered and geared towards the law. All right? Mm -hmm. Towards Israel, man. Now, when you go into the Thayer's Greek lexicon, I'm going to read this part, and you have to read your <coughs> understanding. It says, In these passages, Paul likens the heathen, who were the scattered Israelites, who by becoming Christians, followers of Yahweh, have been admitted into fellowship with the people for whom the messianic salvation is destined to scions, from wild trees inserted into a cultivated stock. Mm, mm, mm. So you're being brought back into this cultivated stock, this order, the house of David. Sorry. That tree, that branch is being reestablished. That same branch that you are being connected to that you read about in Isaiah 11. And one, it says, And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. Mm -hmm. Through the spirit, we have an opportunity to be, to be reconnected to that, to be a scion and be attached to that That's through right. a process of being grafted in. That's what we're reading about in Romans 11 chapter. Okay. Now, yeah. going back <coughs> to the term for graft in the uh, Britannica.com, it says the part of the combination that provides the root is called the stock and added, the added piece is called the scion. When more than two parts are involved, the middle piece is called the inner stock. When the scion consists of a single bud, the process is called budding. Grafting and budding are the most widely used of vegetative propagation methods. I'm going to skip down. It says, the principles involved in grafting are based on the matching of scion and stock cam and cambinums. All right? Right. Right. See, the Most High has a way, man. Right. There is a way. You can't just... And that way leads to life. Right. And Esau has been able to tap into some things, but he has he, he wants to figure out the way and redo it. And mm -hmm. you can't do it. Yeah. yeah. It says... I'm going to skip down. Uses. In modern horticulture, grafting is used for a variety of purposes to repair injured trees... Who was injured? The nation of Israel, that vine. <laughs> to produce dwarf trees and shrubs to strengthen plants' resistance to certain diseases. Sin, wickedness, or disobedience. Mm -hmm. To retain a variety of characteristics, to adapt a variety to adverse soil and climatic conditions. Uh, just a whole bunch of extra stuff that we don't need right, to go into. To fix the tree. Mm -hmm. you know, that's what the Gentiles were grafted back onto the tree to fix the tree. So that that fruit can be planted, man, of faith. Okay, to be justified through faith, man. That's what the, the Gentiles represented. Which now the tree lives. That's right. Mm -hmm. But it's contrary to that first covenant. There we go. It's through grace which ushers you into that second covenant. And it's all through Yahweh, who is the mediator, the high priest. Go ahead. Compatibility. In theory, any two plants that are closely related botanically... And that have a continuous cambinum can be grafted. So they close, close, close. Right, they have to be of the same genus. Species, you know, as we mm -hmm. just said. It says grafts between species are often successful. Right. All right, between a uh, genera, occasionally so. Right? So when you look at the, the diagram mm -hmm. of, 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 you have the kingdom and you have all these different, uh, let me look it up. It says you have the domain, the kingdom, the phylum, the class, the order, the family, the genus, and then the species. All right? So you can't just be a Hebrew. Right. You, can, you, right. you know, Ishmael is a Hebrew, but he can't be grafted in with the Israelite. That's a, that's a genus. Right. You see what I'm saying? That's the word stock in the Greek is gene. It's gene. Right. Stock. 
that branch. So you have to come from the stock or that same mm -hmm. genus. See, uh, Hebrews, we, we have uh, the Hebrews that came out of uh, Abraham, but they can't be grafted back in. It's even more specific for grafting. You have to be of that same genus or species in order for the grafting to be successful. And the Heavenly Father controls that whole process because all nations were chosen as spirits mm -hmm. before they came as flesh. So the Israelite, when he come on the earth, is going to always be an Israelite. Watch this. Watch this, bro. <laughs> It's, it says between general occasionally so <laughs> and grass between families are nearly always failures. Mm -hmm. So other Hebrews is, it fails. It says within the genus, the closeness within the genus, the closeness of botanical relationship is not an infallible guide as to a probable success. Right? But in the absence of recorded experience, it is best available. So if you two thirds, you can't be grafted in. You can't. You have to. Even be, even in Israel, you can't be grafted in. Even in Israel, you got to be the elect. Israel of the Most High. They're not cultivated. That's right. They're not cultivated, Man. and the cultivation is above the physical. It's spiritual. Right. We're being cultivated right, right. now. Right. 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 Boom. Right. The ability of two plants to continue to grow or be compatible when joined together by the asexual practice of grafting is mediated by complex physiological and environmental factors. We call it the spirit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's a spiritual grafting in. All right? That's right, bro. That's right. Compatibility or congeniality in grafting is of various degrees. Apples... Apple grafted on an oak fails immediately. Yep. Uh, Apple grafted on a pear may grow well for one or two years, but gradually weakens and dies. Die. Mm. Right? Mm. <laughs> Some liliacs exist for a number of years on a privet stock, but fail ultimately. Right, just as all of these heathen nations have been able to live on the earth, eventually they fail. Mm. That's right. So they all had the they, it didn't work. Why did yep. they fail though? Ultimately, sin. Yep. Not right. keeping the laws. They all had their shot. It's never the only <laughs> kingdom that's gonna last forever is the one where the laws are kept right. perfectly through right. through the rulers. Right. That's right. So this process of, of grafting in that we're reading about in Romans eleven is not talking about the other nations. It's talking about the broken branches of scattered Israelites that have become indoctrinated by other cultures and have been sent off yeah. being reinvigorated by the spirit and brought back into mm -hmm. the main stock or branch mm -hmm. that's right that's what it's talking about and if you need to rewind what i just say rewind and listen to what i just right. said because when yahweh shai yeah. died and he went back on the right hand side remember he sent the holy spirit mm -hmm. unto the gentiles right. come on all right, to so the right. Jake who were scattered among these nations who knew they were Israelites, but eventually it trickled on down right. to those who were among the heathen who who heard their message. God, turn from those idols, man. Yep, yep. And, 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 and the representation of that today is where you see all these different camps. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got the apostles and the elders, of mm -hmm. course. You know what I'm saying through the Spirit, but you got camps in all the other states. You know what this I'm saying? Literally the dry yeah. bones. Same thing. This is literally the dry bones. This whole chapter you know? is literally the dry bones yep. being invigorated through the spirit. Yep. And yeah. then when you and then when you get into the we we've been fortunate enough to go visit the elders right. and then bring that knowledge back to our respective states. Right, 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 right. right. Just, Just like the prophecy said. Yeah. The prophecy said this would happen. Right. We ain't making this up. You know? Everybody oh, we crazy. <laughs> you know, you crazy. You crazy. It says <laughs> the common apricot is other things being equal, the best stock for apricot varieties. Mm -hmm. But in moist soils and cool regions, apricot trees flourish better in certain plum stocks than on an apricot. Very same, uh, um, what's the word? Genus. Genus. Mm -hmm. The differences in adaptability of closely related plants that can be successfully grafted permit a greater degree of adjustment to soil conditions that would uh, ordinarily be possible, right? So, you know, that just goes into that mindset of us being grafted in 
to the nation of Israel, the common stock. Mm -hmm. Okay? Right. And, you know, I just wanted to. Come on. It's part of the Come. same genome. The same genome? That's right. it. Mm -hmm. You know, the kindred, you know. Well, go ahead. Back to Romans 11. I, I guess we can probably just wrap it up and do a part two, you know. Go ahead. We'll see. Go ahead. Romans 11 and uh, 21. It says, For if the Most High spared not the natural branches, take heed, least he also spared not thee. Right. The natural branches. Those who were raised in the custom. If right. he didn't spare some of them, take heed. All right. To be very, very thankful of what you've mm -hmm. been awakened to. Yeah. Instead of being high-minded, be very thankful. Right. Mm -hmm. Above all, that he woke your nasty ass yeah. up. He pruned the other right. the other branches <laughs> off. Right, right, right. That, right. Those were some of the natural branches. They got like right. we read in, in uh, Jeremiah. Right. They were burnt. They were broken off and burnt. Right. Those right. branches on the while on the tree. Even in this time, there's particular men who were preaching and who were a foundation figure. You know, as far as preaching this word, that aren't here. They fell off. They end the Christianity. They don't preach no more. And we've come so that the tree may live. We can't, you know, we can say, yeah, they fell off, but your ass right. could fall off. That's right. right. You could be, because they were on fire at one point. God. Ooh. So instead of being high minded about your position and what the Lord, be very thankful above all Absolutely. of what you've received because you don't deserve it. Straight up. David. Did not deserve it. Abraham, the Lord could have said, forget it. Okay, y'all want to leave off from me? But he's always said, all right, through a particular remnant or a man, he, he forwarded, you know, the story. Go ahead. Behold, therefore, the goodness and severity of Yahweh by Shem Shai. Behold, the goodness and severity of Yahweh by Shem Shai. He can bug you out. Mm -hmm. We've seen it. All right, go ahead. On them which fell, severity. Right. On them which fell, we've seen some harsh judgments. All right. Whether it be a physical judgment or the mindset of somebody who once knew the truth and you see them out in this earth, you're like, wow. Gone. He is severe. gone. Yeah. That's severe. Right. Yeah. Behold the severity of your how about you now, Understand. Look, bro. Right. This is a game. This is not a game. We've seen some diligent men. Who were foundation like who were people look to him like this. I believe I'm an Israelite. Yeah. And he's gone. Yeah. Right now in the in the earth, walking his dog with some tight ass shorts on. Man. Through. With some clogs. <laughs> <laughs> Finished. Total Gentile. Like again. Mm -hmm. That's the severity. Behold that. Go ahead. Right. Verse 22, it says, Behold, therefore, the goodness and severity of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. I mean, that's the oh. greatest meaning rough. Rough. Yeah. Yahweh Shai is rough. Man. Yeah. Yes. On them which fail severity, mm -hmm. but toward thee goodness, if thou continue in his goodness. If you continue bringing forth fruits, mm -hmm. meat for repentance. That's it. What are we to do, brothers? We're basically to emulate Yahweh through Yahweh Shai to, to bring forth you basically, your brand is you. What you've been given in this truth, that's your business. Mm -hmm. right. You forward that, and other men come on, and then they, they, they're uh, replicating what? A, a behavior pattern of repentance and fruits that are needful for a tree to live. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. yes, right. Otherwise, thou also shall be cut off. Your ass can get be mm -hmm. cut off. You graft it on, but I can take your ass off and graft on something, you know? Right, that's right. Go ahead. And they also, if they buy it not still in unbelief. Yeah, yeah, look, yeah, was, the, the most high is like, look, the tree gonna live either way, nigga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I believe you. <laughs> I, I, the, it's written the tree gonna live. Straight up. Just gonna do it, you know, go ahead. Yep. And they also, if they buy it not still in unbelief, shall be grafted in for Yahweh by Shemi Shai is able to graft them in again. Right, he can graft them in again. Yeah. Yep. But it's still an olive. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> still an olive, man. Yep. Still an olive branch that's being grafted back right, on. Right, right, yeah. right. Go ahead. For if thou wert cut out of the olive tree, which is wild by nature, right, and wert graft contrary to the nature into a good olive tree. Right, now that's the first and second covenant. The yeah, first covenant yeah. yep. was you right. being grafted back in through animal sacrifice and this man. duty. The law. Right, but he's giving you grace. To where you can be grafted back in through offering up fruits, meat for repentance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. 
This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 15. It says, By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to the Most High continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks unto his name. You know, like he ex explained what John had said, fruit me for repentance, that's what it is. Right. The fruit of our lips. <clears throat> okay. Yep. Go ahead. That's what it's all about, so that the tree may live. Mm -hmm. Okay? Go ahead. Read that again, what you just read. Uh, verse 24. Yeah, we, it's, yep, we can get through it. Go ahead. If thou wert cut off the, if thou wert cut off of the olive tree, which is wild by nature, mm -hmm. and were graft contrary to the nature what into... Made, what made you wild? You weren't cultivated in the God. laws. Mm -hmm. You weren't grafted in by the law. You were grafted in through faith. Right. Mm -hmm. Because you believed, which ties you to Abraham, which ties you to the mercy of David, mm -hmm. and so forth. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And were graft contrary to the nature into a good olive tree, mm -hmm. how much more shall these, which be natural, the natural branches, mm -hmm. be grafted into their own olive tree? Right. They're going to come back in there a lot, all right? But it's going to be through the mercy of the elect as we're going to keep going. Go ahead. For I would not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant of this mystery. Right. You don't be <laughs> ignorant of the mystery. <laughs> and what is the mystery? The mystery of the Gentiles. That's it. Yep. That's it. Because it, it ties into the very promise that was given to Abraham, his seed. Isaac, his seed. Jacob, and his seed. Go ahead. Least ye should be wise in your own conceits. Right. That blindness in part is happened to Israel mm -hmm. until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. Right. Blindness has happened unto Israel. According to the story, all right, I'm, I'm going to do it through a remnant. That's I'm going to cut off the rest. All right. But through a remnant, I'm going to bring everything back to where it needs to be. All right. That's how the story works. You have the one third, you have the two third. Each has to glorify their lot for the purpose of prophecy to be fulfilled. Go ahead. Right, verse 26, it says, so all Israel shall be saved so as it is written. All Israel is eventually going to be saved <laughs> as it is written. As it is written. The tree going to live, but this is how I'm going to make the tree live. Mm -hmm. That's right. And it's through the, the, the Yahweh Shai, the, the 144, with the 12 being at the head of that. Right. And the large multitude. Mm -hmm. That's right. Of the kindred, all right, we're going to be brought back. It's still that seed, though. Go ahead. And so all Israel shall be saved as it is written. Mm -hmm. There shall come out of Sion a deliverer mm -hmm. and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. Right. For this is my covenant unto them when I shall take away their sins. Mm -hmm. And concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sake. So concerning the gospel, these, these they're going to be people who are going to be your enemy that are Israelites. That's right. That's right. For your sake, though, because the heavenly father, his, the men he chose, he's going to justify them. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day. Mm -hmm. But within course. the story, they're going to have opposition from who? Israelites. Right. Now, a lot of people say, well, they should just go to hell. No. <laughs> they're going to eventually come into the blessing, but it's going to be through your, your mercy. It's through the mercy of, under Yahweh Shai, all right, the elect. The 144 and the large multitude is going to repopulate all Israel to where the tree can live. All right, and be brought into that second covenant. Go ahead. Yep. As concerning the gospel, they are made enemies for your sakes. Mm -hmm. But as touching the election, they are beloved for the Father's sake. Right, they're still Israelites. Mm -hmm. They're still going to come into that covenant, man. All right, but it's going to be through what? Your mercy. Go ahead, watch. For the gifts and the calling of the Most High are without repentance. Mm -hmm. For as ye in times past not believed the Most High, Yet have now obtained mercy through their unbelief. Through their unbelief. Even, You're justified. Yep. And magnifies. Right. You know, yep. That, yep. that faith is being magnified. Right, right, right. Through their hate. Right. Their faith is right. being magnified. Yep, 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 yep. yep. You yep. know? God. That's it. That's what Paul said in 1 Corinthians 12. In time past, you were Gentiles. Right, yep. right, right. In time past, you, you were really, Gentile slash. Really, you didn't believe. Right, right, right. Yeah. I'm very thankful, man. Go ahead. Even so... These also not uh, now not believe that through uh, that through your mercy they also may obtain mercy. Through your mercy, they gonna obtain mercy. Man, <laughs> through, man. The, through the remnant's mercy. Yeah. Cause somebody get real quick Isaiah fifty nine in the last verse. Come through your mercy, they're gonna be able to be born back into the legacy. 
which Man. comes with the new body, the, 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 the covenant, but it's through the mercy of the remnant. That's how the tree gonna live. Right. Come. Go ahead. This is Isaiah chapter 59, verse 21. Start at 20. Start at 20. Isaiah 59 and 20. And the Redeemer shall come to Zion, and unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob, saith the Lord. Gentiles, go ahead. As for me, this is my covenant with them, saith the Lord. My spirit that is upon thee, and my words which I have put in thy mouth, shall not depart of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, seed, saith the Lord from henceforth and forever. So through the mercy of the elect, the seed that come back, they all going to be born into that legacy. That's right. It's just got to be through that first fruit that he established, man. That's right. Go ahead. All right. This is uh, verse... Verse 30. 30, yeah. For as, for as ye in times past have not believed the Most High, yet have not obtained mercy through their unbelief, even so have these also not believed, now not believed, that through your mercy, they also obtain mercy. Right. You have the legacy of the, the wicked in Israel. You got the legacy of the faithful, the righteous. Each magnify their office for the purpose of the movie, okay, to come to pass, for prophecy to come to pass. Okay, but the way he's going to do it is that through that underdog, mm -hmm. that faithful, okay, they're going to be justified. And that's how all the nation of Israel is going to be justified under uh, Yahweh Shai, under the Most High God, Yahweh. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. For Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai had concluded them all in unbelief that he might have mercy upon all. Mm -hmm. Oh, the depths of the riches, both wisdom and knowledge of the Most High. Mm -hmm. How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. Woo! Because that's heavy, man. Yeah, yeah. Right, heavy, he bro. just went through a lot. Bro. <laughs> he, just, he just hit it. Yeah. He's he through said, the spirit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then at the end of the day, he's like, look. Yeah. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. This is the understanding. Yeah. This is how the Lord set it up. Yeah, he said it's deep. Your, your emotions don't yeah. matter. How you None of that matters. This yeah. is what... Was, up. This is what he gave us. That's right. You know, That's right. he accepted it. If you and don't he was understand pushing, it, yeah. if you don't understand the dynamic that was happening at that time, the, the severity of that statement goes over your head. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, people want to make it seem like it's just, oh, these Gentiles from other nations are being accepted in. No. It's basically you have this situation where this nation has been broken and scattered uh, apart, man. Imagine going all throughout the United States and reconnecting with your family Cause. and finding those people. Right. Imagine being brought over here on cargo slave ships and really trying to find the elect of your family mm. and all coming on underneath the same standard again. You know? Yeah. Man. This is uh, Psalms 52 and 8. But I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. I trust in thy mercy all right, the mercy of God forever and ever. I will praise thee forever because thou hast done it, and I will wait on thy name, for it is good before thy saints. Mm. That olive tree is going to live, man, you know? So, I mean, anybody else got anything? That's pretty much it. I mean, there's other side lessons we can do off of it, but, you know, that's pretty much the breakdown of that chapter. So for you guys who are teaching that that's talking about the actual heathen, man, you need to come to, re you need to repent. You need to repent, man, because that's wicked. The Lord never intended for any other seed to, to, to intermingle with that promise. All right, it's just that how he's going to do it is still a remnant. Hey, the Lord willing, we're, we're heirs to that promise. So with that, hopefully our edify will give all praises to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace and salutations unto the elect. Shalom. Shalom.